You've probably noticed our world is in the midst of an online digital revolution. The internet has changed so much. How we communicate, do business, buy things, and now it's changing how we pay for things. There's a new digital currency called Bitcoin. It's transforming financial transactions today the same way credit cards did years ago. Everyone with an eye on the future is talking about Bitcoin. 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 It's all the rage, but what the hell is it? Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency. Bitcoins are digital coins you can send through the internet. Compared to other alternatives, Bitcoins have a number of advantages. Bitcoins are transferred directly from person to person via the net, without going through a bank or clearinghouse. This means that the fees are much lower, you can use them in every country, your account cannot be frozen, and there are no prerequisites or arbitrary limits. In a nutshell, it's an electronic currency. Imagine buying and selling without any middlemen or banks. Every transaction is recorded in a public log online, but names of buyers and sellers are never revealed. Bitcoin is a decentralized electronic cash system that uses peer-to-peer -peer networking along with digital signatures and crypto graphics to generate currency. There's only 21 million Bitcoins that will ever be created in total. You can't just print off cash like they do in the real world. You're digging it out of the system like precious metals from some mathematical mine. Bitcoin opens an incredible window of opportunity for investors, especially when you get in early, as so many successful startups did during the dot-com revolution. Bitvest is perfectly poised to profit from the rollout of Bitcoin. This video will show you why you should jump on the Bitcoin bandwagon, just as Overstock.com and Tiger Direct already have, and Amazon, eBay, and PayPal soon will. Now, I want to read some of these quotes for you now. Forbes, Bitcoin, the currency of a $10 trillion global market. Time Magazine, this concept is perfect money. Fox Business, Bitcoin may become the world's payment method of choice. The Washington Post quoted experts calling Bitcoin the holy grail. Astonishingly secure, anonymous, invisible to the tax man. It could soon rival the dollar. The perfect currency by design. Bill Gates, it's a techno tour de force. Now, this one is especially intriguing, and, and get this. The CEO of Google, Eric Schmidt, he had the secret meeting in the UK. He was there with the vice president of the Council on Foreign Relations and a former advisor to the Secretary of State. They were talking about how Bitcoin helps overcome problems people have with central banks. Bitcoin operates like gold, like gold mining, and that Bitcoin is going to be worth a lot of money. Bitcoin is quite simply a better, faster way of transferring wealth from one person to another. One of the first areas we expect to see a massive incursion of Bitcoin is in the remittance or money transfer business, especially between the U.S. and Latin America. There are over 16 and a half million adults from Latin America in the U.S. Over 60% of them regularly send money home, an estimated $30 billion or more. Using MoneyGram or Western Union, their fees are much, much higher than they would be with Bitcoin. Good news, future space travelers. Now you can pay for your flight to outer space with money from cyberspace. Virgin Galactic founder Sir Richard Branson announced the news on Twitter Friday as an alternative to traditional currency, adding he has already had one customer use it to pay. Branson himself has invested in the digital currency, saying there isn't much of a risk with it. Still, he says he's converting the bitcoins to dollars when he cashes them in. What the price did you get into bitcoin at, by the way? Um, we got in a while ago. I mean, it, you know, I think any, anyone who got in um, early on has done very well. But, um, you know, the people who bought last week have done well. While Branson says bitcoin has done well, it's proven to be volatile lately. 
On Monday, the value of a Bitcoin skyrocketed from $500 to $900, amounting to a roughly 70% jump in value. But by Tuesday morning, it fell back to $500. And on its website, Virgin notes just two years ago, a single Bitcoin cost less than $10. Bitcoins have grown so much in popularity, a university in Cyprus is letting their students pay their tuition with them. How, who, is, who makes the Bitcoins? I, this is the part I still don't really get. I don't think anybody really gets. Right. So there's uh, miners mint Bitcoins about every 10 minutes, um, and it's, it's basically a computer algorithm. And can, you, a, can I mine a Bitcoin you, if I want to? You could, you but can, at, the, yeah. Yeah, at this point, the... Uh, um, the sort of computers built to mine are so specific that you couldn't really do it as a hobbyist. Bitcoins are generated using a process called mining. Your computer is given a complex mathematical problem to solve, and the goal is a 64-digit number. If your grey box can successfully solve that algorithm, then congratulations, you are the proud owner of a new block of Bitcoins. The network automatically adjusts the difficulty of mining so that Bitcoins are created roughly every 10 minutes. Bitvest sees Bitcoin as the next big thing. Lots of people, just like you, have already made fortunes from Bitcoin. As the dollar and the euro continue their slow path to recovery, some people are trading in their money for a currency that is already booming. It's called Bitcoin, and it's the currency of the Internet. And while many people still may not consider Bitcoin real money, it's making some people really rich. The primary mission of BitVest is to mine Bitcoins, to discover and create our own wealth, just like mining for gold. BitVest mining operation will be very similar to the one you see in this next section. Equipment the miners are banking on to make them rich. Bitcoin is a virtual currency that is making headlines and it's making investors millions of dollars. We're probably making right now about $8 million a month in Bitcoin. We agreed to keep his location a secret because he's making a lot of money. Are you doing okay? Oh yeah, I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm a smiling guy right now. When we were there, he said his rigs were making $8 million worth of Bitcoin a month. In the Bitcoin world, that's a staggering amount. It's like watching money get made. <laughs> Besides the Bitcoins that BitVest will discover and own, there's also the opportunity to earn a steady flow of income for processing transactions in the network. Let's move on to Bitcoin, shall we? That's a, a virtual currency. We're going to talk about the cyber threat now. And who's ever heard of the Bitcoin? It's even been called the future of money, the Bitcoin. For more on this cryptic and still somewhat confusing currency that is Bitcoin. People are fascinated by anything that makes new highs every day for weeks on end, which Bitcoin has done. Is this, is this legitimate in your view? It is legitimate and it is a fascinating experiment. It's an interesting brainchild, though. It really is for people who around the world who are upset yeah. with fiat currency. But the banking crisis there does raise the intriguing question of what is money? What exactly is Bitcoin and how does it work? There is no central bank, no central authority, no a corporation behind it. Knows no borders, knows no boundaries, and in many cases knows no rules. It's a new internet protocol like email or the web. Yeah. All of this is done on peer-to-peer -peer networks. Nobody really even knows who created the Bitcoin. Developed entirely on an open platform. Mm. No one's in charge. Free totally market. decentralized. Okay, Free so, market. So the value of each Bitcoin hit a new high. It has a this chart shows been skyrocketing in value over the past three years. I know some people are obsessed with this and have been all over this quote unquote phenomenon. So many people are jumping into this virtual currency. It's created so much attention. One of the biggest Bitcoin exchanges actually reported that it was having trouble technologically keeping up with all the order flow. It's unknown creator setting a finite number of the digital currency of 21 million with only 11 million in circulation. Well, the maximum amount of Bitcoins that can ever exist on the planet is 21 million Bitcoins. Some would argue that it is more useful as a form of money because it cannot be debased by people like Ben Bernanke or Mr. Draghi. There's no inflation because you don't run the risk of anyone printing the currency. Geek currency, Bitcoin, has been under fire recently for its dramatic price swing. 
Is it just going to keep on going up? Despite the extreme volatility, businesses are trying to cash in on this uh, phenomenon. A lot of venture capitalists are actually coming into the space. Some of the biggest names in Silicon Valley and even some big Wall Street names too. Hedge funds, individual investors. All of the above. Private investors, private capital, venture capital is very interested in this trend. More, there are more and more places accepting it. It's just that you're very far from critical mass. The world's first ever Bitcoin ATM is coming to Silicon Valley. I mean, you got you got this bar here in the middle of Manhattan now suddenly taking it. Um, in various countries, that's really starting to uh, increase. So China has been becoming pretty popular in countries like Argentina. It's Berlin that's become uh, the capital of the currency. Many businesses are already accepting payment uh, with the bitcoins. Uh, Shopify.com, which has uh, thousands of uh, retailers, just have started accepting bitcoin. Why accept bitcoins? Why not? The government wanted to shut it down, wanted to prevent you from from uh, conducting a transaction. Uh, they had no have nowhere to go. It's like cash. Yeah. Uh, you can you can want to regulate it all you want, but I'm a little I'm a little worried that virtual currencies, whether it's Bitcoin or the next one that pops up, isn't something that that from a practical uh, uh, sense you'll be able to. I mean, does, doesn't the government claim an utter and total and absolute monopoly on the means of exchange? So if you've got a Bitcoin. You could sell me the Bitcoin. Well, it's confusing. It doesn't really fit in the normal regulatory categories. We, we hear you, Jeff. Uh, I'm just trying to get to grips with all this technology stuff. This latest surge came thanks to some high power support from within the U.S. Bitcoin arriving in Washington on the national stage. They've done the, the due diligence to say this is simply not a, a so money laundering. So how do the regulars get around it, though? I, I mean, don't know how they're going to do it, but I think, as, as Nick was saying, I think it's got a shot. That's what this hearing is all about. Today and tomorrow is the legitimacy, the rising legitimacy right. of Bitcoin. Do you think this is the tipping point uh, that you get the Fed chairman name-checking it? Does it feel mainstream to you now? Bitcoins have come a very long way in a very short period of time. There's going to be some fallout. Do you ever think that it has the potential to replace traditional paper currency? We are arriving at the day where something electronic uh, can threaten traditional money. What you're talking about right now is for the next three to five years, an unbelievably better store value. It is gold 2.0. People have 100% complete control over their own money. It's the first time in the entire history of the world in which something like that's existed. Cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is the first example. I believe they're going to change the world. This is the time where people should be trying really big, crazy things. Bitcoin has created a worldwide digital economy that every country has been involved with, and it's expanding every single day. Now the miners have only mined half the Bitcoins. People are not going to walk away from their investment in over 8 million more Bitcoins. As it becomes easier to use Bitcoin, more and more people will use it. The more people who use it, the more value the Bitcoin network will have. It's become apparent that the U.S. is going to allow Bitcoin. They just need to figure out how to manage it. As long as there is motivation for the miners to keep mining, they'll continue to do so in order to maintain the network. This year, 2014, an ETF may be created for Bitcoin that allows it to be traded on the New York Stock Exchange. If this happens, we predict an enormous rise in the price of Bitcoin. We'll see the price go up and down, but we predict that at some time this year, we'll see prices over $1,000 per coin. Vest is founded on the proposition that, like the internet, Bitcoin is here to stay. If you believe that too, Bitvest is the perfect opportunity for you to get in on the action early, while the opportunity is still so profitable.